uh, so when you talk about decentralized solar, uh, imag- I mean, I can imagine a building with five, a uh, hundred or order, hundred or so residents. Uh, I may not have that much of real estate capital on my rooftop to put that many solar panels. So it is sort of dependent on the fact that could I see these solar panels reducing in size, giving me the same yield or perhaps more. So how do you see that? So first of all, uh, I did not focus today on multi-story building. I think multi-story building, even something like 12 to 14 floors in Indian environment can get most of the power of the kind that I am talking about, non-air conditioning power from the rooftop, Mm -hmm. 12 to 15 floors because um, typically around 400 to 500 watt power. It is not the rooftop required is such that 15 floor can actually handle it. If it is more than 15 floor, it won't be able to handle it today. Well, you will get generate part of the power. But you do not need to generate just there, you can generate even in the spaces that you have left around. So, one can do that. And second thing is yes, if some of those places cannot generate full, they will draw from the grid, that is all right. At least they can generate part of it and others can generate. Hmm? Uh, will getting the solar panel of higher efficiency basically meaning that in the same size can you get more will help? Well, if the cost comes down, sure, tomorrow the cost will come down hmm? and uh, you will you will do better and better. So, uh, over time it is only going to get better and better, but remember do not jump and do use anything which does not make economic sense to India. It must make economic sense in today and in near future. Wait for higher efficiency solar panel when the price comes down. Today the price per watt is less than 40 rupees per watt hour, per watt peak. peak. Hmm? Uh, I think that is a kind of price at which whole thing is viable. If you make it much, much higher, it is not viable. Remember that whether I have high efficiency or lower efficiency, per watt power is what matters. Sir, I have a question. Uh, like I am from western UP village, so whenever they want to set up the solar panel, the vendor always tell that there is a three different grades grade 1, 2, 3. So, why uh, they are different? Because some are more efficient, some are less efficient. Frankly speaking today, what is there in the market is very poor. I now just showed you almost 50, 60 percent power is just wasted. Hmm? Nobody is bothered. And they are all bringing things from here and there and trying to push it in. So, I am totally dissatisfied with what we have. Um, so, the question is the kind of system that we have designed, I think probably will make sense and it will improve over time. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, there can be design, similar design. We are putting together the specs saying this and giving more or less the ideas of how to go about designing this. Multiple systems can be designed. After that, uh, will there be grades? Well, it depends. Reliability is co- going to be important and if somebody in production does shortcut and reliability is not there, there will be problems. So, um, probably there will be a differentiated market where one can use poor quality cable, poor quality equipment or slightly better quality, but I fundamentally do not see that. There is not that much of cost differential today. You design it well, produce it well, does not cost much more. Of course, has to be volumes. Can't produce 100 numbers and uh, you have to produce in tens of thousands of numbers for it to make sense. I have one more question. Like I want to know the aircraft uh, is running on DC or it is on AC? I think. Um, uh, mm, any vehicle, see the aircraft is today running on not on electric power, but on uh, using your fuel. So, it is not running on electric power, 
but uh, wherever there are electric vehicles of any kind like for example, electric car it's completely running on DC, everything runs on DC, battery is only DC. So, anywhere battery is there running on DC. Occasionally you may have a DC to AC converter because some appliances need AC, but they try their best to make everything DC. In aircraft technology, they may be using some motors which is running on the DC. All, all, all. Take, take electric vehicle, electric car, everything. So, this is very inspiring and it's, um, it's giving up uh, too much promises. But with the change in the lifestyle, like this tells us for the basic things like tube lights, bulbs, and then fans and everything. But if we talk about our lifestyle today, in addition to these telephones, then we are much more dependent on microwaves and other stuff like that. So, how would it manage with the changing, how would it cope up with the changing so lifestyle? It's a, it's a question of definition of standard. Mm -hmm. and start putting it. Microwave oven again is a DC appliance. Yeah, but then huh? it would require it, a lot of energy. It, today it is. No. So, higher energy devices can also be done. I mean, uh, that's what I wanted to ask. So, can there is no problem. In fact, if you look at it, um, uh, this one I have not presented. I have presented where we have made something with 2.5 kilowatt instead of 500 watts. That's what I wanted to ask. Will so it be able to cope up with the oh, changing sure, sure, lifestyles? So, as People will. So, I started focusing on, see one of the concepts that Gandhi taught us, Mahatma Gandhi, think of the lowest income and you will always design everything. Yeah. So, basically think from a different point of view. You want 5 kilowatt, put 10 of these systems. Now, you won't put 10 such systems. We will integrate the whole system and provide it to you. Yeah. They are available already. We have systems which are higher powered. But most homes will manage with this. But micro, you, I haven't been able to figure out a single appliance today which does not benefit from being DC. No, not a single one. I tried. I thought initially only some. My belief was some. But now I'm seeing that every one of them, hmm, electric stove, everything will, the benefit may be small or large. But everything has a benefit. Is it like this 50 percent, uh, attaining this 50 percent through solar power is slightly far-fetched and like how do you convince the policy makers ki they should shift from those things and go for this alternative? So, all that I can say, um, you were probably not born, 94, 1994, we had 7 million telephones and we were used to add 1 million telephone a year and one had to wait typically eight years to get a telephone, eight years to get a telephone. I waited for eight years, came in 81, got my telephone at 88 end. Mm -hmm. um, and that time it was all wired line, the biggest issue was putting a wired line. And when we proposed wireless, wireless was extremely expensive and nobody thought that it is meaningful, quality would not be as good. And we put a slogan that time that by 2005 or something like that, we will have 100 million telephones. Our best planners had not thought of 100 million telephones. They were talking about 30 million by that time or something like that. But they were thinking only while and we talked about 100 million. And that is the time people called us crazy. Hmm? Um, it became a billion, 900 million. Never underestimate the power of technology, hmm? if it makes sense. My point is why, let us understand the logic. India cannot expand its hydro, India does not have oil, will not get oil tomorrow. What choices does it have, coal or solar? solar wind, but solar primarily. Go on with coal, not steering, stop it. I am not trying to slow it down, but remember there is a huge opposition throughout the world to India expanding on coal because uh, greenhouse impact. I am not saying stop it, because we cannot wait for anything, but accelerate solar, L looks far fledged. You are going to stay till 2030, I may not, uh, 
fairly close to that we will hit it. It does not matter if we miss it by 3 years, it becomes 2033, but we may even get it 2028. Believe in it, of course nothing will happen if people sit back, enough people have to believe in it, enough people have to work on it. Is there a possibility of scaling up these systems like for a single solar panel, can we scale up its capacity in some way? Yeah, I mean even the one that we have designed is 125 watt, 250 watt, 375 and 500 watt, you can keep on adding, okay. but we can put one more system, then we have designed something which is 2.5 watt. So, does not it lower, the, put, huh? doesn't it lower the efficiency? No, it does not. Once we scale it up? No, it does not. It does not lower the efficiency, but efficiency only improves. And the if you dis if you put a large one and use very limitless, yes, you will lower the efficiency. Okay. You cannot have a 500 watt system and use only 20 watts, then you will get hurt. And uh, what is the feasibility of setting up decentralized uh, small grids uh, in sure. place of I think that's individual? A, I did not talk about it. So, it is not just going to be a individual home, many of them can be also connected to each other. We are working on it. And what is the feasibility like in it terms of happen. cost and? It will happen. Okay. Thanks. There are many more things can be done like that. Yes. Lot of solar energy is also being wasted as heat and even if also we use some uh, like devices, electronic devices, it also releases some heat to the environment and, and also some like vehicles. Uh, can the heat be used uh, as a source of power to? power some devices. Okay, so there are two pa parts that I will comment on. First of all, heat is not a waste. Huh? First of all, the heat is very important for life to go on. So, in some sense, yes, solar falls all the time. Even before the solar panels came, sun falls on in our country and our country prospers because of that. So, must not consider it from that point of view. But I think your question is different. Your question is, can I take the waste heat and I use it? Or can I take the any kind of heat? Hmm? Well, concentrated heat can certainly be done and it, there are plants which does that. There are a lot of cogeneration plant. For example, um, what is called cogeneration, a plant which is doing heat dissipation and that heat is used to generate electricity, it is done today. Um, dispersed heats are more difficult to use. Hmm. Um, can we tomorrow figure out technologies which can use it? Maybe one can. Hmm. And today, concentrated ones are used. Hmm. Otherwise, yes, hmm. um, in a hot country, can scattered heat, the heat from my cell phone, can I use it? Not very. Sir, actually, I have ho uh, like it was in news like uh, somewhere I just I just forgot like they have a aircraft or a aeroplane that is also running on solar power. So, how can we dream in India also the same? I mean electric vehicles are already made in India. I drive in fact electric vehicle, I have designed that. Um, if she calls me for another talk, I will talk about that. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, can so, there is theoretically nothing to prevent uh, even electric aircraft and then one can also think of solar panel uh, to do this. Of course, today it is a requires it has to be a very light aircraft because otherwise one cannot and solar panels has to be high, uh, using highly energy efficient so they capture as much power. Uh, there is a way the batteries have to be tremendously improved. So, yes, it is a interesting area. I uh, will say I am in no hurry. There is no, this is not our problem. Electric vehicles I, is what I like to convert. Huh? Uh, so, one more question also. So, uh, uh, like uh, if we are thinking about like um, putting a solar panel in rooftop that is uh, that is a very nice and good idea and it is already also implemented but what i want is like if we need some like i want to charge my battery somewhere i want to have some low cost uh, like solar uh, powers for that or uh, i want some like small small uh, right small uh, for my usable devices or i can have some movable 
like kind of things. In fact, there are foldable solar yeah. things available. You put it out in the sun and it will charge. It is available also. One can make it also more if there is a market for it. Cost is slightly high for from that point because you don't utilize it all the time. See, a solar panel, when I put it on a rooftop, every day all the sunlight it captures and convert. Whereas anything like that which you keep it in your backpack and carry it, you may use it only for a once in a while. So when you use it for once in a while and your capital cost is same, your capital cost and depreciation and interest rate will become very high. So from per unit, it is not going to be cost effective. But from a convenience point of view, sure, one can think of that. It's a power bank. The power bank is plenty available. Today, use power bank. So since your system is a kind of decent, decentralized system, so every home can individually use it. And uh, if we want to connect it to the, to the grid, means uh, AC to DC conversion. So it won't, uh, I don't think any government approval is required for that. There's no uh, approval required for this. So if a startup company markets it properly, so it all depends on the people to accept the technology. Well, the only thing is, you know, if you standardize the voltage, DC voltage is 48 volt as being done, then what happens? All the appliance manufacturer will make everything 48 volt. Otherwise, the point she was making, but I want to get a microwave oven, but that's not, uh, uh, or something else which is not yet available. I think it will make accelerate the whole thing. Okay. And so then there was one one more point for low power device. You set uh, 48 volt as standard, and for high high power devices you at a different voltage. So have you uh, incorporated that point into your system? Yeah, I mean, uh, we, are, we are now working on 380 volt DC also. Just started, not, not, not done yet. India is in, uh, investing a lot of money in uh, nuclear energy. So is that getting more weight compared to solar energy? Okay. Uh, back in 1978, I participated in a, um, I don't, um, some 50 mile wa walk protest in the United States against nuclear energy, which took place. This whole protest took place in the backdrop of Three Mile Island, some accident, which I don't remember. I mean, I participated, I led quite a bit. So basically, used to think that nuclear energy is not safe and it is something that we need to oppose. Over times, I've changed my mind. Mm -hmm. Over times, I've seen enough to say that it is safe enough. Not that it is fully safe, there are still dangers. But then burning coal is no great fun either. So if you ask me between coal and nuclear, I'm quite okay with nuclear. Between solar and nuclear, I'm certainly not okay with nuclear. When I have choices to be made, huh? if I have to put another dam, hydro dam and cut another hill, I am quite okay with nuclear. Hmm? Enough has happened since then to make it reasonably safe. Um, that said, can we rapidly expand nuclear? Can we put in that kind of investment? I am not sure. I do not think so. So I did not even talk too much on nuclear. There are people who believe that it can be expanded quickly. They have to put forward the case. I won't oppose it. As long as it makes economic sense, I won't oppose it. Visa vis new hydro plants and visa vis coal. If I can quickly expand solar, 